Uh, my colleagues continue to track that story from the state of Karnataka. Mr. Mohan Vishwa from the BJP is also joining us on the broadcast. Sir, thank you so much for speaking to us. Some direct questions that your political opponents are asking you. Have you not done enough development work in the state that you have to associate as a political party with a Yatra of Savarkar? Why is that figure still important in the politics of Karnataka? So, madam, who has started all this issue? Okay, that is Mr. Sidramaya, Congress. Okay, being in a responsible opposition party, he should have asked something else rather than what did he do? He went to Shimoga. What did he say? He was supposed of using, you know, Savarkar photo in a Muslim area. Hmm. Come on, what kind of secularism is this? When he makes that kind of comment, obviously there will be a reaction from the society and also the untold history of Savarkar. Now today he's making us to tell to each and every household in the state. It is who is the one who started. And, you know, the Congress leaders with their your filthy mindset or filthy tongue, I can say, hmm. the kind of, you know, the words they're used against Savarkar. So that shows their culture. See, we, we being a Bharatiya Janta Party in the state of Karnataka also, have done a lot of development works. Every day, if you see the newspaper or if you see uh, the TV ads, you can see, see, recently our government has approved project worth more than 19,000 crores, which generates hmm. more than 60,000 hmm. employment. Come on, Toyota is building electrical factory setup in Jigni by hmm. investing some 3,700 crores. Hmm. So when these are the development things which are happening in the state of Karnataka, hmm. Mr. Sidramaya, just for the sake of appeasing one particular community or one particular religion, yeah. he is going behind Savarkar by supporting Tipu Sultan. And he knows that... Monji, I, I, I will try, I will try and get a Congress like spokesperson Sultan. on the broadcast and ask all these questions to you. But it's only fair that I ask you this question because you're the ruling party in the state right now. So many communal tensions and uh, clashes have happened. You pointed out that merely over a poster of Savarkar in a Muslim-dominated area, there were clashes that happened. People were injured, they got affected, lives were uh, lost, and uh, there were statements, political statements that had come out. Section 144 had to be imposed in certain areas. When you're the ruling government of the day and there are such communal clashes which are happening, is it appropriate to associate with a rally of such nature. Uh, see, as I told you earlier, hmm. who started everything? Take from hijab until now, Savarkar. It was Congress the one who started. In the case of hijab also, they only started and their youth team only went to Udupi and they were the one who represented those five girls. Then post that, there was an issue of Hazan also. Then post that, there is an issue of now the Tipu Sultan also and Savarkar also. Tipu Sultan, as I told you earlier, poor people have a hatred against him because he is a coward. He is a mass converter. He has killed a lot of poor people in the past and Sidrama, even after knowing that, he wants to go to Kur and he wants to make a protest by supporting Tipu Sultan by opposing Savarkar. So mm. when he does that, it clearly shows that he don't want to stop the issue. He wants to add fuel to the fire, which he himself has started. So he's known for communalism. There was no part of the state of Karnataka until 2013. He was the one who bought. Why no. do that? So it clearly shows that it is the intention of Mr. Sidramaya and Congress to add fuel to the existing fire rather than completely stopping it. All right, Mr. Mohan Vishwa, stay with us on the broadcast. Kapil Madan, who's a lawyer and political analyst, is also joining us on the show. Kapil, um, your thoughts on what we are witnessing in Karnataka and more importantly, uh, with Mr. Yadurappa flagging off the Savarkar Rath Yatra. So, uh, see, one thing is very, very clear that, you know, it is a classic case of petty and cool politics now. It is. It is not. Uh, uh, it is not new to see you know controversy in BJP rule states. Now we saw what happened when you know the entire hijab fiasco happened. How uh, how you know big it became just before the UP elections. Mm. Now thereafter in Maharashtra we saw Alam uh, versus Hanuman Chalisa. I mean this is this is. This is not new for the BJP to stock controversy just before the elections to keep the communal uh, flair going, hmm. to keep the you know pot simmering. And again, to my understanding, it is it is just another attempt to deviate the attention of the people of Karnataka because as recently as yesterday, there was an observation by the High Court which noted that there was a rampant corruption prevalent in Karnataka and pay to one of the uh, government employee was refused. Hmm. Now here, you don't want to talk about corruption. Here, you don't want to talk about uh, employment. You don't want to talk about price rise, but hmm. all you want is that there should be a heated discussion on who is the biggest, who is the biggest, uh, who was the biggest freedom fighter, whose God is the greatest, 
and it is it is just an another attempt to stoke emotion so that people don't uh, 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 vote on the issues that mm. are relevant to their day to day life rather than it is an attempt to call to their emotion um monji uh, please come in on this point you've not done enough development work in the state and that is why you keep bringing up these redundant topics that's what opposition is saying that's what your critics are saying respond to that yeah so I, anusha i just quoted one single project incident which we approved recently in the state of karnataka come on karnataka has received the highest foreign direct investment across india from past two years Begin. we have more than 35 but, unicorns but mohan ji mohan ji you what, also what you, you also had devastating floods you also had various farmer groups the who were protesting and saying that enough compensation has not been given to them the climate yeah. change that we are witnessing across the world not just in karnataka of course it's a change which is beyond the control of any government but there's a need to respond the urban civic infrastructure is under tremendous stress communal clashes have been witnessed in different parts of the of the state so there are various issues on the government uh, on which the government does need to answer see anusha that's what i mean to say you take uh, infrastructure development of bangalore itself our government has sanctioned 6500 crores only for government on an average 200 plus crores have been distributed to all the assembly constituencies in bangalore itself come on if you see see i was just talking to one of the bbmp engineer recently you know mm. what did he say mm. the average temperature of bangalore has not gone up by 23 from past 8 to 9 months there were some practical difficulties while laying the white topping or it can be uh, what do you say uh, the regular uh, tar for that matter you know there are some practical issues but mm. it doesn't mean that we are not doing anything see mm. we are doing everything but being in an opposition party why mrs sidramayya is not raising these issues instead of that what why what he is doing he was mm. the one who raised the issue of you know savarkar in shumagga then mm. later on uh, uh, two days before he said that you know he is willing to go to temple even after having non veg you know these mm. are the things which they are creating and uh, i saw my friend telling that you know wherever bjp is there are communal issues mm. come on what what do you mean by communal and what do you mean by secularism if you speak about savarkar they call it as a communal if you speak about uh, tipu sultan they call it as a secularism then mm. if you speak about hanuman chalisa they call it as a communalism when you speak about azan they call it as a secularism so, so for how many days or how many years this can go for this so mm. being a responsible opposition party you know they should bring up some issues mm. you know in front of us rather than creating unrest in the society so wherever he goes mr sidra maya or congress you know they were the one who were creating mm. by labeling the issue as a communal issue Couple, nothing else in the case of uh, savarkar from this also, e- yes, even if if one were to call this entire this controversy around the household. legacy of savarkar as a communal pitch by the bjp then doesn't the congress benefit equal from uh, equally from it because when the savarkar posters were put up there were statements that came from mr sidaramaiya then the bjp responded i mean if the B- congress party wants to avoid this kind of controversy they can simply not speak on these issues it's a kind of a wish